Let's talk about inheritance. Yeah? If we have an object in JavaScript called collect character equals Donald, and then this is character one, and then we got let character two equals name. Kim. Yeah, two variables, no problem at all. So now, if we display character one, what will that display? Donald. Donald. Yeah. It's for the video. But why is that? That's the important question today. In JavaScript, the way we resolve values is based on the prototype chain. So the prototype chain is just a bunch of related boxes that I would like to visualize today. So, for instance, in the first case, character 1, we'll have a box here. And the first box will have a string somehow called Donald. Yeah. So once we check this character one, character one. So when we check that variable, JavaScript will easily find the value. Yeah. This is the most simplistic scenario. But let's talk about the second one. What happens if we do character two dot name what will that print Kim. him correct also fairly simple right why is that because on the prototype chain of character two we got an object with the property name Kim so again, JavaScript can easily determine the value. What happens if we do character 2.h? What will it return? Undefined. undefined. That's correct. It will return undefined. Again, there is nothing surprising here, but I would like you to have a better understanding. Undefined about why this is happening, which is the important JavaScript. Because JavaScript will try to find the property H in that box and in reality it, it, it wouldn't be able to resolve it and then JavaScript will say, I don't know what, what you want to do, undefined. But let's show a different case. What happens if I do back to character 1 character one dot split empty string. What will that return? Array. Array. Mm, not undefined. Now oh, wait a minute. How JavaScript can solve that? In other words, JavaScript will look at that box. I'll check string method like functions belongs to the data type. Yeah, That's correct. So that will return an array of D, O, etc. Yeah, we agree on we agree on that. But the reason why this is happening is because we never only have one box. We mentioned that every variable has a prototype product chain. So we have at least two boxes. There is something else here. Something else. So then, what do we have here? That's the problem. The string object. String object, yeah, I like that. I like that. So, every variable, the last element on the prototype chain of every variable is... Object. Not, not necessarily object. So, that's the prototype of the data type. So, what sort of data type is character one? String. String, string. correct. So, here we got string prototype 
And what do we have here? We have an object with many properties. Split. What else? What else can we do with this string? Uppercase, lowercase. Uppercase, yeah, correct. To uppercase, to lowercase. Slice. Slice. What else? Mm -hmm. Joy, wrong. Splice. Match. What else? Substring. Replace. Includes. Includes. What else? Includes is a new one, anyway, yes? How do you check the size of the string? Yeah. You see, many, many pro It's an object, yeah? That's why. Even though you nail that already, it's important to know that even though character one is a string, in reality, it can work as an object because of the dot notation. The message here is that in JavaScript, eventually everything is an object. Everything is an object, eventually. Because everything is resolved as the object offered by the prototype of that data type. Yeah? That's why Character one, we can do dot something even though character one is not a, an object at all. Yeah? That's the way it works. And that pattern applies not only to strings but to any data type. So it also applies to object prototype. Does anyone know any property on the object prototype? Values. Uh, no, that's, that's different. So keys, values, these are methods okay, on the cap methods on the capital O. But they are not methods. I cannot do. Okay, for now. What happens if we do character two dot keys? Undefined. Yeah. So we don't have many properties on the obvious prototype. There are few. There are few. Yeah. But I don't want to go any in that de level of detail. However. I would like to talk about yeah, arrays because with arrays I'm sure you can think about many properties, right? So we got let characters equals team and Donald. So obviously we can do characters dot what let's talk about the array prototype which is the most powerful one in javascript yeah characters so tell me methods of the array prototype so i want i won't move until we got at least 15 so you tell me find map filter reduce sort reduce Join. Correct. What? For each. Slice. Slice. Splice. Splice. Length as well. Length. Good one. What else? Push. Push. Shift. Pop. Shift. Reverse. And shift. Reverse. Three, six, nine, twelve. One more. It's two strings. To a string, no. Can you have like is array? Is array no, is no, the no, 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 there's something different. <laughs> Delete, wrong. No, includes. Includes. Nice one. That will wrap it up, so. Well, more, more than that. Every use right, you remember? So we got many. This is the most powerful prototype. And that's one of the reasons why, technically speaking, JavaScript has evolved so much since 2011, since ES5, because of this box. That was half size eight years ago. Yeah, things like looping an array. We didn't even have things like for each or map in 2010. Yeah, it's not that far away. It was very complicated. Right. So correct. That's the way it works. Yeah, when you do, when you do characters of length, it will first check here. Do we have any length property in the element itself? No. This is an array. It's not even an object. Then it was say, okay, no problem at all check on the prototype itself. Do we have any length property here? Yes, yes? then return it. it. Obviously it's up to the prototype to decide what to do when you do this length. Yeah? The prototype knows about it. What happens if I do 
characters dot water. Undefined. Undefined, correct. Because you would check here. Do we have any water property here? No. no, no problem. No problem. We still have another box. Do you have any water property here? No. 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 Maybe no. next version. But not yet. <laughs> For now, because then at this stage, this is the last step eh, in, the, in the journey. If nothing is found here, like eh, I'm, I'm fine. Yeah, I don't know what to do with that. Cool. So this is about two levels: the element itself and the prototype. But that can be a bit more complicated, and that's the last part of the session. So I would like to show you how to perform inheritance. So, if I have an object, so let's, uh, again, characters, sometimes I talk about people and I talk about legs and stuff, but it ends up being a bit creepy, right? Person with two legs, three legs, so, <laughs> let's keep that for all the audiences, no strikes on YouTube, please. Characters. Yeah, I, sorry, I completely forgot what I wanted to do, no? <laughs> Not characters, yeah? So we got character one. Character one, yeah? Uh, age 21. Yeah? And then we got lead character two. Look at what I'm doing now, guys. I'm going to, sorry, another property. Age 21, gender. Female. Yeah? And then look at what I'm doing now. Character 2, you may have seen that or not, I don't know. Object with capital O dot create empty object, comma, character 1. So what that means? Let's draw some pictures in the right hand side. So what that means is, first of all, character one. So in the character one, this is character one, and then we go age, 21, and gender, female. After that, what we got here, guys? Wrong? Yeah. Oh. Oh, the, object. the object prototype, correct. Object proto, whatever is here, yeah? So that's on the first line. But then on the second line, look at what we are doing. Object.create. In other words, we are creating a new variable called character2 that extends character1. Yeah? So, what happened if now I do character two dot eight? What will that return? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Let's see. That's correct. Let's see the journey. We'll check here. Do we have any age property in the object itself? No. No, no problem at all. No. Next stop. Do we have any age property here? No. Yes. Return it. Stop. This box will not even be evaluated. Yeah? That's correct. And what happens if now we do character 2.h equals 37? What will be now the value of character 2.h? 21 or 37? <coughs> correct. That will assign By running that line, we are now adding a property here. Age 37. So now when we display character dot age, that's the same process. Do we have any age property here? Yes. yes. Return it. That's it. Yeah? And what happened if we do character dot gender? Female. 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 Correct. Yeah? Why? Do we have gender here? No, no problem. Do we have gender here? Yes, return it. Wouldn't that be undefined? Because it's a character of gender. We haven't got character. Mm -hmm. we haven't yeah. Character. yeah, but yeah. it's not Oh, yes, of course. No. Well, that's a good question. Yeah. To see if you are paying attention. <laughs> what 
will not return. Okay. Wrong. Oh, no, I have it's it's how yeah, yeah. inheriting. F, F is inheriting from the parent. No, wrong, 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 wrong. 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 Correct. Correct. That would throw an error. Pardon? Cannot check property gender of undefined. Do we have any property called character? No. no. Okay. Yeah? Syntax error. All along. Yeah. So that will return female because it's not here. Next step is here, yes, return it. And what happens if we got character, it is die, right? Character to dot email. It's undefined. This is undefined. Okay. Do we have any email here? No. Here? No. no. Here? No. Undefined. <laughs> yeah? That's the way prototype and inheritance works. What if you add, I don't know, character one dot email? Correct. If now we add character one dot email equals foo at bar dot com here, yeah, email, whatever. What will character two dot email return? Correct, yeah. So one of the beautifulness of prototype of inheritance is this complete dynamic. You can add properties at any time, yeah. This is the dependencies are resolved in runtime, yeah. So at the time we do character 2.email, then it will check, is it here? No. Is it there? Yes. Return it. Yeah, that's the beautifulness. And this is one of the differences between prototype of inheritance, JavaScript, and class-based inheritance, Java. Yeah? If you are interested in learning more, yeah, there is a lot of uh, literacy in, in Google. Yeah, but FYI, this is a classic job interview. This is when you apply to a senior position. Differences between prototype and class-based inheritance. And one more thing, what happens if I now do delete, delete character to dot h? What will then character 2.h return? Correct. So when we delete the property, yeah? Oh, that's interesting. It's, it's so wasted that instead of fighting, I can delete the stuff. Cool. Fantastic. Yeah, so when we delete the property, it's not here anymore, but the same process, right? Character 2.h, is it here? No. Is it here? Yes. Return it. Yeah? Cool. So that's the way it works with prototype and inheritance. This is ES5. ES5. That mechanism was introduced in 2015, but now just FYI. That was, that was fun. Now with ES6, we got classes. Yeah. So with classes, you can do class Peter. And then class John extends extends. Yeah, you remember extends? Yes. yes. You've using it from the first day. Extends. That means that if I have a method here called hello in Peter, that said Peter said hello. Now what happens if I do oh god, this is getting a bit tough. If I do let Peter, sorry, let me rephrase that. Let John equals new John, and then let Peter equals new Peter. What happens if I do John dot hello? It will run. Run it will run the function, yeah? That's a similar principle. When we extend, it will first of all try to see, do we have any method here called hello? No, no problem at all. Because we extend another class, then we'll check if in here do we have any method called hello. Do we have any method called hello here? Yes, then 